to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 3, Lesson 1, Haunted House Introduction. In this lesson, we'll explain the Haunted House Project game loop and demonstrate some gameplay. And then we're also going to perform the setups for setting up the project foundation. Haunted House is going to be a first-person view project. This will be our first project that mixes the use of the mouse and the keyboard inputs in one controller. In our game, the player must investigate a haunted house for clues on how to escape before the time runs out. The player has limited visibility and must use a flashlight for extra light. Our lose condition is that the time runs out. And our win condition is that the player solves all of the puzzles and escapes the house before the time runs out. Let's demonstrate the game loop. Here I am in my project and I'll press play and demonstrate the game loop. So in the project, I have a first person view. At the bottom, you'll see a flashlight meter that's slowly going down over time. This indicates the power that's left on my flashlight. When the power reaches zero, the flashlight goes out and it'll start to charge up again. In the top, you'll see a timer telling me how much time is remaining. And here in this level, there's some gates that are preventing me from leaving and some creepy little glowing eyes out there in the distance. I can go inside this house and explore around. Eventually I'll find this breaker on the wall. And when I flip it, all the lights in the house have now gone out. When I travel downstairs though, there's a puzzle. I need to interact with these three glowing orbs in the correct order. And also I'm now locked in the house and I can't escape. When I interact with an orb, it starts to glow and gets a little bit brighter. And start to float. And when I get the last orb, the door is now unlocked. Now when I go to the gate, it'll allow me to leave. The content for this project will take place over two weeks, and we have a lot to cover in those two weeks, so let's get started. I'm back in the Epic Games launcher, and I'm gonna launch Unreal Engine 5.0.3. In the Games tab, we'll start another blank project. We're gonna use Blueprints, Desktop, Maximum. We'll include the starter content again, and we'll leave ray tracing off. Make sure you set the location for this project where you would like it and then we'll name our project. Click Create. All right, I have my project open now. Let's start by creating a new level. File, New Level, and we're gonna choose the basic level template again. Click Create, and then remember, we wanna save this level, and you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna call it Haunted House Map. And we're ready now to get started building our project. In the next lesson, we're gonna import some assets that we can use to build out our level.